15 things you didn't know about the House of Saud. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to yet another amazing Alux.com original video. Today we'll be looking at one of the most influential families in the Middle East, the House of Saud. The House of Saud is the ruling royal family in Saudi Arabia, and the country was named after them. The family is comprised of thousands of members that are the descendants of Mohammed bin Saud, who was the founder of the first Saudi state. King Salman is currently the most influential member of the royal family. The House of Saud has around 15,000 members, but only about 2,000 share the majority of the wealth and power. Due to the massive amount of wealth the family has received from oil reserves, they are known for their luxurious lifestyles and extravagant spending. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Let's move on to the 15 things you didn't know about the House of Saud. Number 1. King Salman shut down a public beach in France for three weeks while on vacation. When King Salman decided to take a vacation to the French Riviera in 2015, he took along 1,000 of his family, friends, and security personnel. He owns a lavish villa on the coast, and when he visits, nobody is allowed within 300 meters of the residence. On this particular trip in 2015, more than 400 luxury cars were hired to transport the visitors around the region. While the king was there, the public La Mirandole Beach, a popular French Riviera vacation spot, was sealed off so that the monarch could vacation in private. This upset many locals, and over 100,000 signed a petition against the closing. Number 2. The Deputy Crown Prince Bought a $400 Million Yacht on the Spot Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the Deputy Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, was on vacation in the south of France in 2016 when a 134-meter yacht caught his eye. He immediately offered the owner, a Russian billionaire, $400 million for the yacht, and he took over the boat the very same day. The yacht features a health spa, nightclub, multiple swimming pools, and a cinema. Number 3. All males in the House of Saud are guaranteed jobs There are over 7,000 princes who are currently alive bearing the family name. The number of family members that are titled is actually around 30,000. Every male member of the royal family is guaranteed a job, and the job rank is based on the family lineage. This has led to the creation of many sinecures, which is a position requiring little to no work that gives financial benefit. But if you don't have the correct surname, you may be shut out of the key jobs regardless of how talented you are. Number 4. The line of power transfer is not straightforward With so many royals in the House of Saud, the main point of contention is the fact there is only one throne. They do not use primogeniture, which is where the first son of the ruler inherits the throne. Rather, they have followed an agnatic seniority system, where power is passed from one brother to the next. The order of succession was designed to pass from one son of the first king, even Saud, to another, but with the son's advanced ages, there is a concern about what will happen when there are no brothers left. This is why a royal decree was made in 2006 that resulted in the creation of the Allegiance Council, a committee of Saudi princes who will help choose future Saudi kings from the bloodline through a process based on merit. Number 5. Prince Al Walid bin Talal Owns the Most Expensive Private Jet in the World The biggest and most expensive private jet in the world is owned by Saudi Prince Al Walid bin Talal. It comes with a cost of $500 million and features a concert hall, a Turkish bath, a luxury car garage, and a prayer room with electronic mats that automatically rotate to face Mecca. Number 6. There Are No Elections or Parliament the House of Saud has been in power for hundreds of years, and that doesn't seem likely to change anytime soon. There are no national elections held in the country. There are also no political parties or even parliament. It has an advisory chamber called Majlis, which is only symbolic. This is a ruling family that doesn't allow any kind of criticism similar to governments in North Korea or Turkmenistan. Number 7. The House of Saud didn't become extremely wealthy until the 1970s. The House of Saud has a royal net worth of around $14.3 trillion. It's well known that most of their wealth comes from their oil reserves, which were discovered in the 1930s by American oil prospectors. The money really started piling up for the family during the oil boom of 1975 to 1979, when hundreds of billions of oil revenues poured into Saudi Arabia. 
Number 8. Despite implementing a fiscal austerity program, the Saudi royals are not curbing their spending. Due to decreased profits from petroleum, the House of Saud has decided it's necessary to cut down on spending in the country. Programs previously paid for by the government totaling a quarter of a trillion dollars have been cancelled, and gas, water and electric bills have significantly increased. However, the Saudi princes are apparently not affected by the cuts as they continue to spend lavishly. For example, one Saudi prince bought an 11,000 square foot apartment in Paris for $30 million in 2016. A certain amount of state money is concealed from the budget and spent at the discretion of the king, often on new palaces or entertaining. However, there are questions of how long the House of Saud can sustain their lavish living with the thousands of family members who expect a certain level of luxury. Number 9. In 2014, a member of the House of Saud gave the Obama family $1.3 million in gifts. In 2014, former Saudi Arabian King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz gave then-President Obama a white gold wristwatch valued at $67,000 and a 48-inch gold-plated brass replica of the Mecca Clock Tower worth $57,000. His wife Michelle received a $560,000 diamond and emerald jewelry set, while his daughters Malia and Sasha both received diamond, emerald, and ruby jewelry sets as well. The gifts totaled $1.3 million, but Obama was required to either turn them over to the federal government or pay a fair market value for the items. Number 10. Saudi Prince Turki bin Abdullah has a fleet of gold supercars. Prince Turki bin Abdullah, who turned 24 in 2017, is taking full advantage of the lifestyle his wealth affords him. His collection of gold-plated supercars includes a Rolls-Royce Coupe, a Bentley Flying Spur, a Lamborghini Aventador, a six-wheeler Mercedes G63, and a Lamborghini Huracan. His Instagram account includes pictures of him with his pet cheetah in one of his cars and him driving across a desert chasing a camel. If you want to see some other surprising things going on in the Middle East, click on the upper right-hand corner to check out our video, 15 Crazy Things You Only See in Dubai. Number 11. The House of Saud Tried to Suppress the Death of a Princess Documentary The royal family spent a whopping $500 million in an effort to suppress a 1980 documentary called Death of a Princess. According to the film, Princess Michelle was executed in 1977 for rejecting the husband chosen for her. She had fallen in love with a young man that wasn't approved. She was shot and the suitor was beheaded. Number 12. Not all royals have lots of money. There are some members of the House of Saud that are not rich. However, they have the royal name, which is worth a lot in the country. They can access pretty much whatever they want with the power of their last name. For example, there are some princes that have been known to take out loans at banks and not pay them back without any repercussions. Number 13. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal Al Saud is the 45th richest person in the world. Prince Al-Walid, a grandson of the first Saudi king, owns 95% of the Kingdom Holding Company, which owns stakes in Lyft, Twitter, Citigroup, Four Seasons Hotel and Resorts, Apple, General Motors, and more. As of 2017, his net worth is $18.7 billion, and he's currently the 45th richest person in the world. He has said he will donate all of his wealth to charity in the coming years. Number 14. Prince Al-Walid Owns Three Palaces While we're on the subject of Prince Al-Walid, let's take a look at his three palaces that are fit for a king. His primary home is a 250,000 square foot palace in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where he lives with his two wives. The home is worth $130 million and has 317 rooms that feature 1,500 tons of Italian marble, gold-plated faucets, silk carpets, and 250 TVs. There are also five kitchens with one designed just for making desserts, a 45-seat cinema, and a lagoon-shaped pool. He owns another palace in Riyadh that is 500,000 square feet and has three man-made lakes on the property. His third home is under construction but will be 4 million square feet with a 17-acre lake and a private zoo. Number 15. The royal family owns numerous palaces including one that is modeled after the White House. 
The Saudi royal family is private about just how many palaces and luxurious homes they own, but there are hundreds of mansions and palaces owned by the family, and not all of them are located in Saudi Arabia. The late King Fode had a residence built in the 1980s in Marbella, Spain, called the Marmar Palace. It was made to look like the White House. When the king visited the palace, he would take along 3,000 people and rent 300 hotel rooms and 500 cars. His one-month stays would inject between 40 and 80 million dollars into the local economy. Do you think it's wrong for the members of the House of Saud to be spending so extravagantly when the people of their country are suffering economically? Let us know in the comments. For those of you still with us, here's a bonus fact for you. Besides his villa on the French Riviera, the king also owns 12 apartments on the 16th arrondissement of Paris, a very affluent area. The apartments are worth an estimated $35 million in total. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury and